Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to create a simple graphical user interface for our savings calculator and we're just going to do it by dragging and dropping elements on the screen. So first of all let's just get rid of a couple of views that we're not interested in using in this video. We're just going to close this project view and then this Android monitor and then I'm just going to go and hide this component tree by clicking here so we just have the screen of our application and this toolbar with all the elements that we can drag and drop. So we're just going to go first of all and zoom in a bit by clicking on this. And as you can see we have our application which displays the title and also a generated text. Now we're going to be using this generated text as the title and I'm going to get rid of this uh, action bar later on in this course. So for now we're just going to have this as the as a um, title and as you can see it doesn't go uh, all the way through from the left right from the left side to the right side and I just want to expand it a bit and I'm just going to use this feature which says set layout width to match parent and that's what I'm going to do with all our elements that we display on the screen and keep in mind that our layout right now is by default this relative layout. So I'm not going to take a layout first of all in this video. I'm just going to use the default one. And basically what the layout is, is just a way to organize all the elements on the screen. So by having this relative layout, we can actually adjust the position of all the elements relative to another element or just relative to the top of the screen or to the right border or to the center of the screen and so on. And so first thing that we need to have after the title is just to uh, get the input for the yearly income. So we're just going to go and select the text field and we're going to be using this number decimal because we're going to take a the input as a number. We're going to place it just in the center, as you can see, center horizontal and below the generated text. And also we're going to expand it by clicking on this button, which says set layout width to match parent. And so now we have the input for the yearly income, but now we need to, um, we need to get the input also for the um, weekly savings and for the weekly savings we're going to be using this seek bar so we can just slide uh, easily and I'm just going to put it here as you can see it says center horizontal and center vertical so it's just going to be on the center of our screen and as well as I did with the previous elements I'm just going to go and set its uh, width Okay, and we also need to specify the current amount that's on the slider and in order to do that we're just going to need um, plain text view. I'm going to position it as you can see uh, just above and as you can see it says center horizontal and above seek bar so that's exactly where I want to position it and I'm just going to expand it again and you also need to get uh, the total amount of uh, savings per year and in order to display that we need another text view I'm just going to put it relative to the bottom of the screen so as you can see it says center horizontal and align parent bottom so I'm just going to align it relative to the bottom of the screen just going to keep it over there and I'm going to expand it as well and also I have to um, implement a reset button so I'm just going to take one button either a small button or just a button both of them work I'm going to put it as you can see just above uh, our text view number 3 which is the result text view and also I'm just going to position it to the center so it says center horizontal and then I'm going to expand it all the way from the left to the right so just that it complements uh, the screen. So as you can see we have our application um, we have the first step of our application already done so thanks for watching and see you in the next video.